It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, today we are taking a look at, I better be careful when I pronounce this, Ophiacus, the 13th constellation. And in this one, we are going to be playing out tiles domino style a little bit to make combinations of colored dots and grab cards that score you points. It's got some theme about, um, I don't know, constellations and aligning stars or something, but it's just lining up dots and scoring them. Let me show you how this works. The objective of the game is to get the most victory points and you are going to be doing that by collecting these constellation cards, which you do by playing to the table, which starts with a single one of these tokens uh, face up, and then each player gets three in their hand. So I'm just gonna be doing a game with two and then we set the rest of these aside as a draw pile, and you begin. On your turn, you are going to take a look at your tiles here, and you are going to play with at least one side being adjacent to another one, and making sure that when you add to a line, you do not go above 13 little dots, okay? So if I did this, for example, there are six there, there are six there, there are 12 in the line I've built this way, that's okay, I'm allowed to do that. Also be aware that a blank space actually breaks up the, the spaces. So this is like one co uh, combination and this is a brand new one. There's no, they don't, you don't add up all the numbers across. And what you're trying to do as you play these and then draw a new one is make these combinations that are up here. You can't quite see all of these, but there you go. And they tell you things like three uh, pinks here in a line, three yellow, four different ones in a line, five different ones in a line, and they have up here in the corner the number of victory points that the, the, co the combination is worth. And so, on my turn, I could do something like this. And that's fine because I've hit 13 by doing that, and I could take, say, this one because I've made three yellow in a line, one there, one there, one there, and I could take this towel. You can only ever take one towel at a time, no matter if you make more than one combination, um, you can just take the, the best one, obviously. So I would take this, I would put it in front of me, and then I would draw a replacement. It is now the next player's turn. There is one more thing that you can play with. This is sort of a, this is a variant rule, which is when you hit exactly 13, you are allowed to do one other thing. You are allowed to either draw two tiles in, when you're replenishing back up, and then look at both of these and take the one you want, or take a token that is worth one victory point at the end of the game, and just draw blind. So you can play with that rule as well, which I, I would recommend, because it adds a little bit of interest to the game. But that's basically it. You continue doing that until you've exhausted all of the tiles, you finish playing, you are going to score up your points and see who is the winner of the game. Oh, and you also lose two points for every one of these you could not play at the very end. The first time I laid eyes on this game, I was very intrigued. I, I liked the stark look of the whole thing, and so I, you know, it drew me in. Uh, once I read the rules, I was a little bit more um, scared because the, they're not a great English translation. Um, I wish they were a little clearer, and they're in this really annoying format as well where you've got to do this. And so that's all the rules there. Not a lot. Not that the game needs a lot, but again, not a great English translation. The gameplay itself um, is okay. I, I found it to be a little slow having to count all of the dots every time and all of that, and the visual uh, look of the whole thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe if these things weren't so shiny, that would be a little bit easier to see if... Um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's visually, it's, it pulls, pushes me out a little bit. I have a hard time engaging visually with the game. It looks cool, it's just not practical, or that practical, I think, in my opinion, again. But the gameplay itself is all right. It's, it's a neat game. Uh, I like the domino idea. I like the lining up of the, you know, of the constellations or whatever. I definitely would recommend that variant. 
where if you make exactly 13, you can get the point, or you can draw two tiles and then keep one. I like that. Definitely would use it. And it's definitely a quick play as well, which thumbs up from me for that, because I don't think this is the kind of game that should draw out. It's a few components, but really that's all it needs. So, some good there, but ultimately a, sort of a, a forgettable game for me. This is not quite a recommendation, but I'm not slamming the game either. It's a neat idea. It's clever. I I like the sort of look of the whole thing, except for the usability issues I'm having with it. And so, if you really love this style of abstract, if you're looking for something that, that looks unique, you know, then I would say check this one out. But otherwise, this is not something I think you need to hunt down and put in your collection unless it's really singing to you again. And uh, so I'm just giving it like a huh review, you know, for me. Um, not something I'm going to be hanging on to or anything like that. And that is, again, Ophiuchus, the 13th Constellation. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.